Hello, hello, so Signage Fan back. And this time we are going to do the Miyako Beginner's Guide. And I know a lot of you have waited very long for this Miyako's Beginner's Guide because she was actually my first main in type Lumina. This was the first character I saw and I said, hey, she looks really fun. I do want to try to play this character. And uh, I was very successful with her. Even after the nurse, I was able to clutch and win a uh, tournament with this character. So I definitely think that she's a very, very good character still, even after the nurse. Now, I do think that you uh, have to put in a little more work with her but I wouldn't say that's a bad thing I think that's a good thing and it would just challenge you in general and make you a better player um so one thing to note this character is really fast like she's super fast uh yes her normals don't reach that uh far but all of her normals are very situational uh she has a lot of tools even resources from full screen because she has a uh, 2 c uh, 2 to C uh, if you charge it is uh, it is unblockable but she does have like a full screen option for somebody that is potentially sitting across the screen maybe shooting projectiles at you or anything 2 to C would be your answer to that so I wouldn't really say the character gets zoned out per se I would just say that you need to take your time and be a little more patient this character you don't have to rush in and go like ham and nuts all the time sometimes you can play a lot more patient and just uh play for the win versus uh rushing in and running into damage so let's start things off uh like i said her normals are stubby but up close her normals are like super good um she has a lot of options when it comes down to rebe pressure um because she has her two uh her two cc series which is like really good and spacing with this character is very important as you see if i do cba it puts me right outside the range of Arcu. It's 2A. So, uh, for somebody coming into the game, you need to understand that uh, sometimes you just want to be spaced right after your block string if somebody is blocking. So, try a simple CBA. They're right outside range of uh, Arcu. It's 2A. So, now if we go into a B or a C, we'll be able to hit that uh, recovery. Just like that. Just like that. So sometimes with Miyako, you don't necessarily need to go into like full strings and try to like go into a special, like a, you know, a cross up elbow or something. Sometimes it's actually better to just rebeat and wait for the opponent and see what they like to do. Some people like to jump. Some people like to, you know, try to press a really fast button. Some people like to backdash. You need to adjust to the, the way the opponent is reacting to you. Um. So with that being said, uh, her normals are like super good. 2C is one of my favorites. 5C and 2C are going to be the goaded normals. But 2C is definitely one of my favorite Because like look at the range on that 2C. It's very deceptive. Like it, it doesn't even look like it should hit from that range. But it's hitting from that range. That max range. And you do get a really good confirm off of max range 2C. So the 2C is like super good. Uh, 5C is like really really good um, as well. Because like I said you could just confirm it to shoulder. And then bam you, you got 3.7k uh, easy right. Oh let's turn this off. So one of the uh, the main things I want to talk about is her special moves. And kind of how to utilize those in your favor. Um, her 214A, like her 214 series has armor on it. So like if somebody mashes, like you can do, you know, the the 214 uh, series and like hit them for mashing. I'll make the mash something kind of like a little slower like that, right? Like if you do it like that, um, if you charge it, it has armor. So if you are in a block string and you feel like the opponent might mash that is when you would want to like charge it up like that and then basically get your damage off of that um the b version actually is plus which is a huge buff because that was in the patch um so like let's say i do uh 214a it's never my turn with 214a right never 214b it's actually my turn. Let's do a faster button, like 2A. Huh. 
It's clashing with arguments. Maybe. Oh, okay, the charged version. Excuse me. So the charged version is plus. That that is my fault. I forgot that the charged version. The B version is still neutral. Maybe. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I feel like the the B version might be neutral. Charged is the buff where she's actually plus. So excuse me. Uh, yeah. So the charged version is like super good for frame traps. So like if you condition somebody to not shield you, you could actually do this and you'll be plus which is really good buff because uh when you throw in you could do it meaty too on people's wake up and then if you do it meaty you could just like frame trap somebody so just like that so the b charge version is like super good um of course the super is plus and a person can act while they're in the air but um it's definitely a miyako's favor for sure um, her 2-2 two -two series, like 2-2-A two -two and stuff, like 2-2-A two -two is definitely more for, like, a fast frame trap. It's, like, for uh, a more fast frame trap. 2-2-B uh, two -two is plus. So, 2-2-B, two -two you definitely want to do that in situations where the opponent is, like, stuck guarding. And you set it up. Because after 2-2-B, two -two this is something to note. I want everybody to note this. After you do a 2-2-B, two -two 2-1, two uh, 2-3-6-A. A, you cannot jump that they cannot mash they cannot they have to hold it the only thing they can do is shield or uppercut once they block this you do two one four i mean two three six but you got to do it a little closer like right here let's see there you go right here you can't do it from tip because like from tip all of the advantage is kind of going away from the elbow but once you do it right about here this is the sweet spot you'll frame trap anything they do so that's kind of how you want to play around with that move um if you know you have them blocking and you condition them and then you do this and then you immediately do elbow because it's it's literally a frame trap it's nothing they can do about it now if you're close you can like right here you can hit 5c and also frame trap so you don't always have to default to the elbow but like you can also hit 5c but the reward on the elbow is like a lot it's a huge damage starter so that's why i would uh, prefer you to do the elbow for the for the actual damage starter because you're going to get a lot of damage um off of that um her elbow series uh has a lot of follow-ups like you got the cartwheel that's in bowl. you have the shoulder that's a combo filler you have the low which is just a safe uh move that you can finish your strings with so anytime you feel like you might be unsafe you could just default to the uh, the low kick and you could actually frame trap with the low kick if you put a, a slight delay so it can be used um that's kind of like a check because if i just do elbow by itself you know like that could be a um a, like a stagger a built-in stagger because you do have so many follow-ups that a person might not react or press a button because they're afraid of the low because if the low hits they'll uh basically just get comboed and eat a lot of damage for that because miyako actually does hurt uh fairly well she probably does some of the most damage in the game she's probably around like top five ish with damage output that she can actually dish out off of like raw hits um when it comes down to her moon skills, her moon skills are like, they're okay. Uh, 6BC is really good because it lunges forward, uh, has a lot of priority. And 2BC is actually the GOAT. Like 2BC is the move that you want to use because it pops them up uh, on hit and you can uh, basically get a combo. So like 2BC is one of those moves you use in footsies. Like if somebody's whipping, you could just 2BC them. You know, like that's that's kind of like the route that you want to take with like 2BC. If somebody's whipping right in front of you, you could 2BC them. Because you can also elbow people on reaction, like if somebody's like whiffing or like 5C. But elbow definitely has the most range, so you probably want to like if somebody's whiffing, you just want to elbow them in neutral. Because that's a, that's a really, really good neutral um, tool. Uh, when it comes to her air normals, her air normals are like some of the best in the game. Like off jump like her air normals are some of the most dangerous air normals to go air to air with her ja her jb is literally top five move in the game it's double-sided hitbox so like you can like cross up with it 
and because of this reason you cannot run under her like it's very hard to run under her some characters can low profile this like argue it actually can with 2b uh but that move is like so goaded and jc is just like a huge hitbox so like coming down on somebody's head with jc is very hard to challenge that and it's very hard to like beat that out in general um her so her aerial game is like very strong she can even do the people's elbow out of the air like uh with 4bc like to kind of like delay things you can even do uh jumping uh six six bc in the air and then like you could do an air action after and like try to like you know maneuver yourself around the map like which is really strong and last but not least i'll kind of like go over how her mix-ups work now because her mix-up game definitely got nerfed and it got toned down however her mix-ups are still very strong but you have to utilize them in a different manner for example like cross up elbow now it crumples uh which doesn't do too much in my opinion uh, because you're still gonna finish it and do like a special move or something but like the cross up elbow you can use it more as a throw bait like if you feel like somebody's gonna throw tech like you can use it in that uh in that regard i'm gonna try to set this up it's gonna probably be harder in training mode because they're gonna uh, like tech throw immediately like that you see how i baited that throw tech right there like situations like that you can like set up which are like super super uh dangerous and super super good um you can set up the cross up elbow in a situation where you feel like somebody might text throw or they might um press a button late and then you just do the cross up elbow because if you do it too uh close to them they can like throw you out of it but like it's ways to set it up so like generally when you're at like mad plus frames because you could definitely throw her out of it but like i said like stuff like that you make the throw with so like if you run out uh run up to somebody and you know they're gonna throw tech um you could just like uh you know run up cross up elbow meaty or something like that that's the way that's gonna hit it's not gonna hit too much in mix-ups anymore people are gonna shield it on reaction and or block it but it's like really good for that situation um throw is still strong but it's not as strong because of course the throw damage got nerfed so the throw isn't going to be as strong as it used to be um but it's still going to be a good um situation to break up pressure and like go into throws in general uh the 623 series of the up kicks now up kicks were the dreaded mix-up tool that everybody you know hated but uh the 623 series like while it's still good and usable because you can definitely whiff it like for example like if i knock her down i can whip the first few hits and make the second few hits hit and it still has a really cool animation because you can run with it so in a lot of situations it has the same animation as the run so it can be a little tricky to block but you want to whiff the first hit now and make the second two hits hit even if you're like doing a tip range block string or something that's the same concept of how you would want to um utilize it you want to utilize it in a situation like that you see how um i did the stomp at the end and then i just let the first two hits hit and that's kind of a mix-up because if i run up i can just go low so i can do the i can either do the overhead and make the first two hits hit um the, i mean the last two hits hit for the overhead or i can go straight into run up low and that's kind of like the mix up you want to enforce and last but not least her jumping mix ups are actually kind of crazy because she can hit like a lot of overheads um on the opponent i'm gonna make arcuate stand up she can actually hit three overheads and a fourth if you like instant air dash or a fifth like because that was five overheads like she's really hard to block in the air and once you condition the opponent with like so many overheads because this is literally just uh jc jbja you could just start throwing them because you know they're gonna block and that's kind of like how you want to play around with it you know they're gonna block so you could literally just just throw them do two overheads throw you can even do one overhead and throw because you know the opponent is glued on block so you can like mix a lot of kind of like tick throw situations in 
uh, to benefit you and uh, I think that Miyako at this point in the game and like this point in the meta she kind of fell off she's very popular still in Japan uh, key uh, being literally the best Miyako uh, in my opinion um, from Japan but I think at this point, um, Miyako, uh, she does take a little more work because you can't just steamroll somebody with mix-ups. But now you kind of have to utilize the mechanics of Type Lumina and you have to utilize frame traps, rebeats, all that good stuff. That will just make you a better multiplayer in general. So I hope y'all enjoyed this Miyako Beginner's Guide. I will see y'all next time. Peace.